Good morning friends, hope you're all doing well. I was expecting this morning to be doing an announcement video for the brand new Seven Star Terror Raid event that should be happening later this week. After, of course, all of the issues had been fixed with the Spotlight Terror Raid event for the Great Tusks and Iron Treads. And then we had that and the Seven Star Chestnut event returning over this past weekend. But that has not been the case as per usual. And in place of that, we do have another announcement. So there might be some reasons behind not getting a seven star terror raid event. We'll get into that as we get into today's video, but it is a bit disappointing at this stage not to have anything to look forward to later this week, especially when we thought all the issues would have been fixed. But like I said, there might be reasons behind that. The update that we have had instead of this is this one regarding errors in regards to moves that certain Pokemon from Pokemon Home into Scarlet and Violet have and these errors are going to be fixed. The errors are concerning three particular moves. These will be Fatal Claw, which is Dire Claw, which is Sneasler's signature attack, Stone Axe, which is Cleaver's signature attack, and Ceaseless Edge, which doesn't seem to be appearing in the translation here, which is Hisuian Samurott's signature attack. Now, all of these moves have the added effect of having a high critical hit chance, and it does go to state in here that this is an error and these will actually be removed in a future patch. So error content in each explanation, there is an explanation of aiming for vital points, which is the critical hit mechanic. But in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, these moves do not have the effect of making it easier to hit vital points. So they will be removing that effect from these moves as it stands in game right now. They do have that in the description. I feel like they do have the increased critical hit chances in Scarlet and Violet right now because I have used these moves quite a bit. Uh, so I'd imagine that will be removed and they have said we plan to correct the error description in a future update. Now this is in regards to Regulation D which is actually starting on the 1st of July. So they've got like literally two weeks to get this brand new patch out to fix these errors. So I'd expect the patch either later this week or more likely into next week to fix these issues. So do expect something before the 1st of July in regards to a brand new patch. And I also mentioned as well, there might be reasons behind why we haven't had an announcement for the next seven star terror raid event this week. There's a lot of rumors going around at the minute about a Pokemon Presents potentially coming this week or next week, more likely this week. Uh, whether that's true or not, we haven't had any official update on anything being announced just yet, so take it with a grain of salt. But we have had a tweet out yesterday from Janiti Masuda. When he normally puts something out, it does indicate that maybe something is going to be happening this week. His tweet was this morning, good morning everyone, let's do our best again this week. Now, previously, when Janiti has tweeted out anything like this, it has kind of followed on with an update or a new promo video or a trailer for a the new game at the time. So maybe we do get a Pokemon Presents this week and then because we haven't had the announcement of the new 7 Star Terror Raid event this week, maybe they're including it in that. Maybe it's a special one. Who knows? It, it is just a lot of conjecture at the minute. And like I say, there isn't much truth or much substance to back any of these claims up. But it is strange that we didn't get an announcement for the 7 Star Terror Raid event, which we expected it to be Del Fox and that Fairy Terror type later this week and we haven't really had anything announced but the baseline is we are going to be getting a new update soon in the game it will probably likely be a very small patch to fix these issues with these three moves that we do have in the games so for Sneasler, Cleaver and Hisui and Samurai their signature attacks are all gonna be amended so you can see the critical hit chance here and Ceaseless Edge it has one there the Cleaver also has one with Stone Axe and then the Dire Claw is also another one that carries that high critical hit chance to go along with the other added bonuses that these moves have making them pretty powerful in game but that is everything for today's video let me know down in the comment section below what you think of everything in today's video when you think we'll get this patch and do you think there is a pokemon presents potentially on the way with the announcement of some dlc news and also a brand new seven star terror raid that should be happening this friday but as of yet we've got nothing i don't know i'm kind of hopeful that we do get something about the dlcs this week or next because we haven't had anything since that pokemon presents in february and it feels like a good time now to be getting it with a lot of kind of hype ramping up for the release of these extra games later this year so thank you so much for tuning in just a quick update this morning as soon as we get any information on anything else 
in regards to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be putting it up on the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with everything when it does drop. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.